What's up, everybody? How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am. I, I woke up, and every time I say I'm going to have an off day and I'm not going to do a video, here I get right back in front of the camera um, with some old stuff to talk about because it's important, right? But um, I, I just want to say shout out to all of my womb sisters out there, all of the people in the collective that are waking up. I call this a wake up Wednesday. We, we need to, every once in a while, we need to ring the alarm, ring the bell, ring a ling a ling a ling a shing a ling a ling, just to make sure that you guys are still awake because we get a lot of things happening that distract us and we need to make sure that we're staying on target, okay? <clears throat> And let me know if you see me, hear me okay. Um, if you could say a hello, um, let me know if the connection is good. We've been having a lot of rain lately, but I'm so excited to talk about this today because, man, oh, child, it's just like we don't ever get a break, do we, as black people? We never get a goddamn break. It's like they coming after us left and right. We never get a chance to fucking breathe, right? And I didn't really get to go fully in detail about my outrage over the security guard, um, Jamel Robertson. R.I.P. Jamel Robertson. He was the young man that apprehended the club shooter and he was killed himself while doing his job. You know, like that type of shit. That's what's going on right now. And I see our timelines though are just as filled up with Jill Scott. We talking about Jill Scott simulating a blowjob and we, we all knocked off our block. We, we, we like, we, this is where our attention can easily shift. Like I have never seen, like I don't even want no fucking music for real, for real right now. Like, cause I feel like people need to really pay attention to shit. Like we're in the middle of goddamn war and we're shaking our asses and twerking in the collective. That's what we've been reduced to. Just so you know, you know, we got a lot of clowns out here in the collective and a lot of people that's just saying, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. They're enjoying this madness. They're, some people enjoy being slaughtered. Some people enjoy seeing their demise because just like 9-11 and the World Trade Center, we didn't even really know it was real because we've been so desensitized to watching movies like that and seeing people get killed and shot. Like, it's no big deal to us. I don't think you guys realize how just how desensitized you are. We've got lynchings around the clock now. Social media has made it possible for you to see this type of, you know, violence over and over and over again. So much so that you can easily go back to to putting all of your attention into something that doesn't even matter, i.e. a goddamn blowjob. And as I said in my post, if you guys were giving and receiving enough head, you wouldn't be so blown away by Jill. So carry on with your sexual frustrations. Like this is, this is my problem here, people. Just like Shahrazad Ali said, we good at laying down, sisters and brothers, but when it's time to have some leadership and accept leadership and follow their leadership, sisters, we can't, we don't know what to do with them when we get up. We love the fuck, but we don't know when it's, when it's time to fight and get our priorities together. We are in the middle of war, but we talking about fucking all of our energies on fucking. And we ain't halfway whole and emotionally sound enough to even be talking about this shit. Like, you guys need to really check yourselves right now. And I'm not saying sex is not important, but y'all have gotten so desensitized. You're seeing your, your sons and daughters get killed and you're so easily distracted. You don't, you don't even have a plan because these are people that are like, well, what's the plan? Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If you're one of them people talking about what we going to do, you haven't been paying attention this whole time. You don't know what being on code is. And you don't know about the system of white supremacy. The people that's still crying, why, why, why? <clears throat> this just don't make no sense. No, it makes sense if you understand the system of white supremacy. And as Dr. Neely Fuller said, if you don't know about the system of white supremacy and how it operates and how it functions, everything you see will confuse you. 
And so here we, I got to see y'all on these timelines talking about Jill Scott. And I can tell you so sexually frustrated. Like, I'm really, I'm really disgusted with us as a collective. Y'all can barely get a goddamn first date. What do you need to know about sucking dick for? Let's, let's go back to some old shit that I used to talk about, about black dick worship, hashtag BDW. When I was talking about how the black man's dick is worthy to be praised. And that's a real sacred, it's sacred. That is a sacred practice that we need to engage in. Y'all was like, what the heck? What? 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 But, and this is why I say we need more sacred sex goddesses versus superheads. Because had you been learning the art of being able to connect with your partner, and if you didn't have so much trauma in your way, if you wasn't so bitter, broken, and scarred, and bruised, you would have been honoring your king like this the whole time. All I see is some sexually frustrated Negroes. Why would you need to be taking those? Taking those from Jill Scott for what? Jill Scott's head couldn't even keep her man. Jill Scott seems like she's a pretty toxic chick outside of her music. You need to get, You guys need to be able to separate the artist from the artistry. Okay? And this is no dig at Jill Scott because I'm like the biggest Jill Scott music fan music fan but let's just keep it real like yeah i don't have to know what exactly happened but i'm pretty sure with my judge of character jill scott is probably toxic as fuck toxic domineering all the reports from the husband and shit like that her kiki wide and all these fucking divas and everything with that temperament honey by so okay so now jill scott is on stage simulating head and we need to be all fucking oh my god like really you guys really because you're not getting head and you're not giving it. That's why. That's why. Like, Jill Scott is the last person you need to be taking notes from. Like, I'm more interested in what Earthquake got to say. See, what Earthquake had to say made my pussy wet. See, y'all getting excited about the wrong shit. What I saw with Earthquake, that shit had me fucking hot. I was fucking moved. I, I wasn't moved when I saw Jill Scott. See, if... And it's nothing wrong with you being moved. See, you were moved by Jill Scott because your root chakra is bust wide open. Our root chakra just bust wide open. You know, we, we're just so hyper-sexualized in a collective, honey. We've been fucked as slaves in the ass, in the ear, in the butt, raped, killed. Honey, we got so much sexual dysfunction passed on to us. So, yeah, we, we got that type of um, hyper-sexuality going on that we need to cleanse. And I get that, okay? And that's where all our shit comes from. We ready to fuck. But what Earthquake had to say, see, he's ready to fight. Who's ready to fight? Y'all ready to fuck. Who's ready to fight and do the work? This is why we had to switch gears for a second with AncestralArrangeMatch.com. It's great to do events and bring collective, bring conscious-minded people together. But who's going to do the work of removing these soul ties and all of this shit that makes us so sick as a collective to be able to see our children, sons, and daughters killed over and over again and not do anything. I'm not too excited about putting y'all motherfuckers together. Because we need more warriors. We don't, we don't need more whores. We got enough whores in the collective. Where are the warriors like Earthquake? Earthquake made my pussy wet. Where is the black dick worship for him? See, I'm not talking about Jill Scott's simulating head. I'm talking about what Earthquake actually said. And I'm talking about the people that's actually doing the goddamn work in the collective. Suck they dick. Suck they dick. Don't tell me about what you can do and how you would do it. No, no, no. Time out for that. Because Trump, ha Trump white supremacists, he's deputized all of them. They've been deputized. They've got the green light to kill your ass. Don't tell me about simulating dick sucking. Why don't we talk about the real deal of what Earthquake had to say? I don't want to hear anything about Jill Scott. Let's talk about fucking with the Dred Scott case that we still dealing with. Let's talk about what goddamn Earthquake had to say about Trump completely demoralizing, demeaning, disrespecting this black woman, talking about all of the questions she had to say was stupid. Like, what else do you need, black people? What else you need? You need another twerk video? I'm sick of twerk videos. I'm sick of them. Sick of them. I'm throwing up twerk videos. So we twerking and we being killed. Are y'all not sick of this emotional roller coaster yet? Because all they're doing is showing you that you have no morals. They're showing you just how sad and pathetic as a people you are. 
We love the fuck. What are we doing about fighting though? Okay, okay, get your dicks up. Who, who, who's gonna make sure that the men, the true OGs that's on code and talking about busting heads, who's sucking their dick? Do y'all know how to get that man? Do y'all know how to attract those brothers? Because if you don't, all you're going to be doing is assimilating still. So if you don't know how to really attract these kings and warriors that's doing what Earthquake had to say. See, that's what moves me. I'm, I'm moved by the fighting, not the fucking anymore. I'm tired of the fucking. I'm tired of seeing the crack of your ass, sisters. I'm tired of seeing you twerk your pussies around. I'm so sick of seeing you winding. I, every time I look, I'm seeing y'all winding. For what? For what? You whining and we at war. We at war. That's, that's, that's a sick, broken people that are delusional. That's delusional. Honey, I don't even have the energy to whine like that unless it's, oh my goddamn warrior king. I don't have time to be doing anything else but speaking the truth and making sure that we are, we are on guard here. What, so, so basically what you guys are waiting for is what most black people wait for with sicknesses. This is, this is how we are because we're reactive people. We're not proactive. We're waiting for something to happen. So they just keep turning up the kill switch because we're the frog in the pot. We're waiting on them to just go spraying. We're, we're ready for them to go full on, you know, um, concentration camps, Nazi Germany. We're ready for that because we're, it, we're already in it. Y'all don't even realize we're already in Nazi Germany. Like they've got the full playbook down pat they're they're using the whole nazi regime hitler regime playbook the slavery playbook is happening all over again and we just like this is what we doing we're going to the fucking oven and we this is this is sick people here these, these are sick people here. We, we, we talking about sucking dick. And we sitting up here letting people kill our children with no impunity left and right. What are you going to do about the security guard? You still talking about sucking dick. I'm talking about Jamel Robertson. Wow. This is where we are, black people? No, you don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear this. I, look, let's make a decision right now. What is it that you're really wanting to do? Because this asking, asking what to do, what to do, you, you told us that you're one of the ones that are, are part of the problem. You're not, you're not a solution person. Because at this point, if you have to ask, well, why? Why? Well, what do we do? What, why are they killing us? I, like, get off my page. Don't send me no questions. Don't send me no inboxes. Not None of that. None of that. I'm tired of seeing your asses winding and carrying on and we can't even get no goddamn justice in the streets, but we winding and we are up in the fucking air tripping. We talking about getting the next tickets to the Jill Scott concert and we don't even have the next black business lined up that we going to support. That's about all we can do is go to a fucking concert because Lord knows we can't pass no laws. We can't, we can't get no money together to pay off no fucking senators and pay off no politicians, but we can get some money together to go to the Jill Scott concert. Girl, you going to the Jill Scott concert? You gonna go see her watch Crown Roy? You gonna see, girl, because when she did that Crown Royal, girl, like it was just, it was off the chains, girl. So all she had to do was talk about some goddamn Crown Royal on ice. Y'all gonna go buy all the Crown Royal and we can't even buy off one politician. Check, check your damn priorities, black people. It's not cute anymore. It's not cute anymore, guys. Okay, again, you guys are taking, taking cues from people who can't barely keep a healthy relationship. But again, that's all they can show you is how to fuck and suck. But we don't show us how to fight. You've given us the songs, you've given us the motivation, but what, what are we going to do to fight now? Because are we going to turn up, you know, I mean, I don't understand. Let, let, let's, let's do something real quick. Let's see. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Honey, because this y'all, son, y'all love this shit. Honey, they'll be fucking frying our ass. Taking us to right on to the damn concentration camp and hit hit this gonna be our ass right here. Oh. 
They blasting us. Spraying and we doing this. Girl, did you see what Jill Scott was doing? Girl, yeah, I know. Honey, but I'm just living golden. Oh, girl, honey, I'm finna go get my man. And they outside blasting. Killing you, killing your children. And you living your life like it's golden. Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you really? But y'all, y'all read it though, right? They, they blasting on you. That's what you're ready. You're ready for them to turn up the kill switch so hard that you have no other choice. But that's what you're doing. You're just turning the music up over all the pain. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Jamel Robinson, uh, I don't hear him. Sandra Bland, no. Kanika Jenkins, no. We don't hear him. We free. Yay. Eric Garner, uh uh-uh, no justice for him. We don't care. But we golden. Living our life like this. Yes. Woo, Philando Castile, uh uh-uh. Oh, no, we haven't heard from the NRA yet. We didn't hear from the NRA about Philando Castile and all the gun owners. We didn't hear that, but we're we're living our life like it's golden. That's cute, black people. All we need is a theme song to to just blast over the pain. You need a theme song to blast right over the pain and act like nothing's happening to you. Did you see the, you know, This Is America? Donald Glover, he showed that, like, in the middle of war, we got police on horseback blasting and everything, and we out here doing a nay-nay and all of this stuff. That's what we do. Those are people that are crazy in the head. You better understand something like I understand. Most black people that you encounter, they're so brain dead, and they are prepared to do nothing about it. Just like with illnesses and being sick, most black people are waiting for that diagnosis to wake them up before they start doing anything. Most of you that have had weight loss and success and you turn it around, it was because something serious had to happen. The doctor had to give you a serious diagnosis. And I don't know what else you guys need to know that we're in the middle of war. It's gotten beyond serious at this point. But we talk about assimilating head. So y'all forgive me if I don't, you know, continue with the shenanigans and the fuckery, right? And all of that silly shit like you like you guys are carrying on into. I can't really entertain that and I'm certainly not into I'm not gonna be so blind that I don't know what's going on. Like we can we can really, really benefit from this time and getting our shit together, but we can't we can't just be dumbed down here. We can't. We can't. What'd you say, brother? Oh, thank you. He said, I'm so glad I ran across your page. We need sisters like you. Thank you for your service and words. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Clayton. I appreciate that. We do need to be more proactive than reactive because I see we're waiting for them to just start blasting on us, just going door to door. And they really already started. They're telling you that there is no system to protect you when you're killed unjustly. So now there's nowhere safe for you to go. There's nothing else for you to do. Like, you're not protected in any system. That's just the truth of the matter, guys. Like, I'm not interested in bringing you together with a man going on a date and so y'all can fuck. What what have y'all built to fight the system of white supremacy? Like, what is that? Our priorities are so fucked up. This is why we can't fight because I have to see y'all on y'all timelines arguing about dumb shit. You need to be focused on healing, but you arguing about dumb shit. Your issues are all over the place, and you can't stay focused on what's what's important. I saw a young lady the other day, and you know, when you're a friend with somebody, you can see all the comments that they put, even in private groups. And so, well, it was a page. A brother asked a question, you know, why are all these single moms with their asses tooted up in the air? What do they think they'll attract? That was his question. Now, one sister who's been following my page, supporting me, all that type of stuff, you know gonna say well I've seen men in gray sweatpants so what's the difference and stuff like that that deflection and you thinking you're, you're trying to get your soul ties broken you trying to get hooked up you don't know why you chronically single you don't know why you can't get over your pain your resentment you don't understand why you can't attract wonderful men but when you look at your page and your behavior and what you're talking about 
you can, you can't even get the point because we talking about well we deflecting. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, what about the men in gray sweatpants? No, what about single mothers with their asses tooted up in the air all the time? What do you think they'll attract? But we don't know how to get that work, but we want to fight the messenger. This type of shit, this is why, this is why, but you you want somebody to love you and come hug you and, 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 and have a wedding with you. All y'all want is a goddamn wedding. Y'all don't want anything else. You want a fucking wedding and you want to be Facebook's favorite couple. Y'all don't want to fight the system of white supremacy and win because you're too busy fighting with your goddamn brothers when they just asking and posing basic questions. And I'm really just wondering if I should even give a fuck and work with women like this anymore. Like, I'm about to just stop. This is how why I'm not impressed when you get on the phone with me and you act like you got it together and you get on here and lie. But your issues, the truth of who you are comes out in your post, what you say, how you talk. You're not even ready to be accept accountability. That's what you should have learned over these past two years of the, in the collective with social media. You should see how hard it is for black women to take accountability. Black people, we can't do it. We can't do it. Black women, we're terrible at it. Oh, I, I bring me the real, bring me the real. When you start pointing out, hey, do this, do this, don't do this, check this, consider this. Well, it's not, I, I mean, I'm married. I don't need the womb school. We get all type of deflections. Because you don't want to admit how far gone you are. When your environment and your world and the conditions of the land you live in show you how far gone you and your people are. You don't understand. We on a little boat and on the end of the boat, it's a big old hole. And we on the tip of the boat looking like, mm, 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 mm. I hate this happening. I hate they sinking down there and don't even know that we about to be affected by the same thing. We just got this radical individualism. The RIF virus I talk about in the book. That I'm going to do me, you do you. I got it already. I know it. I mean, it's, I mean, I got it. I'm going to do me, you do you. You know, no, you're not. This is why you can't come together because we're radical deflectors. We're all about self. We're very selfish. We're very selfish. We don't know how to love. We've been beat by our parents. We haven't been given compassion. We've been given beaten. So as black people, we are conditioned to not have compassion, but to be in this state of cut off. We cut off. I'm going to beat you. I'm, I'm hard. This is that la- LBVS, laughing but very serious generation. Everybody's post I see right now is about you bragging about how you don't let people in quickly, how you an empath and you you attract a lot of broken people and you don't you don't forget and you know you petty and you ain't the one to mess with all of this stuff. And y'all saying it like y'all this is just this badge of courage we wearing right now in the collective. And we think it's, no, motherfucker, you just got, you're socially awkward as fuck. You're broken. You're not winning no points telling everybody you don't let everybody in easy. And you are, you are empath and I, you know, I'm a healer. And that's why I attract so many broken people. No, bitch, you attract broken people because you have fucked up shitty boundaries. You have shitty boundaries. That's what this is. So we sitting up here, one the fuck, don't understand why we can't get a man. And don't even know what to do with them when we get them. But you talking about Jill Scott giving head. And we don't even we don't even have the tools to get ahead with our own brother in the house. We don't even know how to get ahead to even get a man to get our phone number. We don't even have the basics and we talking about all this shit. Don't know how to get a protective provider in your goddamn household. Haven't had one in your household since forever. But okay. And now we're in the middle of war and you want to talk about sucking dick. Who's dick? Who? Who? Who dick are you gonna be sucking? Again, we can't we can't get you to see the truth of yourselves. We can't. So I've learned that with with black women, we're very bad at accepting accountability for for what we're we're doing. And I'm not gonna put Jill Scott up on this pedestal. Certainly not now because it's just not time. We're in fucking war. So pardon me if I don't prioritize her simulating sucking dick. I just want to get on what Earthquake was talking about. That's what I want to do. Okay? What did you say? You're an adult guidance counselor. Seriously, yes. Everyone needs a dose of your prescription. Thank you so much. My um, zodiac sign is Sagittarius with a Pisces moon and a Virgo rising. Okay? And my Venus is in Capricorn, which means I'm very objective and I'm about getting the plan done. It's about work. My ideal relationship is a partnership. 
Okay, my Pisces moon, I'm very creative, I'm very emotional, I sense the pain of others, and I'm a natural counselor, so that's in my wheelhouse, and as a Sag, I'm, I lead with the spirit of truth, I'm half human, half beast, I'm the champion, and I lead with power and clarity and light. I'm a December Sagittarius at that, the Virgo rising in me, it's the caretaker, it's the Virgo, it's very critical. It's the person that sees the system and brings the plans. We can't just dream all the time. We got to see how can we make this happen. So that's the pragmatism inside of me as well. And the work ethic to be able to do this over and over and over and over and over again. So I appreciate the people that are awake um, because it's going to take more conversations like this. Um, we're we're going to have to just shift this focus really quick from wanting to get a man in our bed so quick and we don't even know how to let the nigga lead when he stands up. Okay, so you can come to me when you attract a man like Earthquake that feels like Earthquake. Where are the black men? Because see, when you get them type of OG niggas, y'all got a problem with them because y'all be masculine as fuck. Oh, that's my birthday, December 3rd. Oh. That's so sweet. Yeah, those masculine men, y'all yeah, don't know what to do with them. Women that's like me, we predisposed to be masculine. I had to do a lot of work and I still fuck up a lot. I still fuck up a lot because we've been programmed to be so masculine and to worry and to be in a state of fear. We got to get a lot of this stuff off of us. So if we're not talking about breaking soul ties with this mental, psychological, and spiritual illness. This is why we can sit up here while we're at war and being killed in our faces and do nothing. That's why we're able to do that. We've been dumbed down and we need to take that film off us. That film of failure, that film of fear, that little pussy ass film for you to be able to see this shit over and over again. For a lot of y'all, it's just trauma porn. You're just sharing the negative news story just to share, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, what did you see that? Are? Oh, and stop sending me stuff to my inbox. It's like y'all done got online and thinking, you just learned Facebook, you old motherfuckers, 40 and over, and don't even, you just learning what a notification is, and all you feel like you need to do is just keep sending articles. This is what we're supposed to do is send articles. Ooh, let me send this to Art Kathy. She needs to see this. Why? I, I, I don't need to see it. I'm already awake. Your, your ass is shocked by it. No, keep it for your fucking inbox. That's how we get. I'm going to get on Facebook. I'm a journalist. I'm sharing information. I'm taking notes from Jill Scott. Oh, uh-oh. Here your fat asses go. Taking notes from Jill Scott. Okay. Now, I'm going to find me a man. Oh, part what Jill Scott said. Oh, and she said, and she did this. And what else she do? She did the ball. What she do? The ball. Lick the ball. Chain let them. Chain let them motherfuckers. This, this is who these people are. Thank you. These chain let them motherfuckers. And it's a lot of y'all. Just doing stupid statuses. Telling people, like, what you listening to on Spotify. Like, y'all just doing dumb features. You're still poking people. You're still sending requests to do the games and the fucking bean game. Like, y'all just do dumb shit on Facebook. Y'all just don't understand you at war, do you? You don't know that people are making millions of dollars and thousands of dollars and meeting they mate and finding, you know, financial freedom and all this stuff on Facebook. But you won't hear poke, poke, sending game requests, sending chain letters, and wondering what Jill Scott doing. Lord have mercy. Anyway, let me get out of here, y'all. I guess you can keep taking notes on Jill Scott. and Because this is what you do. You take notes from people who are very toxic. We like that. We like taking notes from toxic, overweight black women who in real life are, are scaring motherfuckers away. Um, that, that's a whole nother story. Honey, this ain't about shaming nobody's weight, BBWs, and all this different type of shit, honey. Because let me tell y'all something. The BBW, y'all still ain't sucking dick. Black women they ain't sucking dick like that. Because had y'all been sucking dick, y'all wouldn't have been all over this fucking video. I, and which proves my point. Y'all are not getting your dick sucked. I, this is why I talked about that so much. <laughs> the husband sharing the video. Baby, did you see the Jill Scott? Hey, did you see the Jill Scott? What, what'd you think? What'd you think about it? Because she hasn't sucked your dick in a whole year. Let, let me tell you, after this video, I'm going to have a lot of husbands, as I usually do, telling me when the last time they had their dick sucking. For a lot of you, it's been over a year. That that happens. Go to my um, blog, Confessions of a Sag, artbodysoul.blogspot.com. I talked about this. Why BDSM and swinging is going nowhere in the black community. I got a lot of sexual analysis 
and blogs because it's three types of people that get blowjobs. You have the woman that says, what, you gonna put what where? And then you have the other woman that says, okay, I'll do it for your birthday and anniversaries and special occasions. And then you have the brides like me that would rather wake up with her man's dick in her mouth. So who would you rather get head from? So there are three types of people and most black women that are traumatized, broken, scorned, you done pissed her off, honey. She's not falling in, in the third category. She's probably going to be in category number two. It's going to be lame. You're going to get a lot of teeth. I, I, that's what I'm telling you. It's the same for men. It's three types of men. The same thing. Okay? My God. Honey, people ain't getting head. You ain't giving it. You ain't getting it. You don't know how to do it. You, this is why I know that. I know. I know. We don't. But we, but we at war. But we still want to be whores while we're at war. Whore, whore, war whores is what we are. War whores. In the middle of war. And they still know they can fuck us. They still know they can fuck us and get a good song and dance and jig out of us while they blow us to smithereens and completely annihilate you, demoralize you, demean you. They done pushed you, punked you on the schoolyard and dared you and you've done nothing but, but clap back with a goddamn dick sucking video and your enthusiasm over that and no outrage over what we gonna do about Jamel Robinson. What we gonna do about Jamel Robinson? Y'all let me know what we gonna do. No, don't let me know. Don't come in my inbox because I already know what I plan to do and what we need to do. I don't need to know. If you wanna know the steps, you can get my book. You can have those hotel conversations in the private groups, but I don't need you in my inbox sending me stuff. Stop sending me things. I don't need you to send me things. Niggas like to talk and chatter and shit. We're not about solutions. We're about just keeping up the emotions and keeping up the trauma porn. And this is why we're more into seeing somebody suck dick and twerking instead of knowing how we're going to get our Second Amendment rights popping and how we can attract the warriors and how we can leave something on a legacy and how we're going to get our money up really quick before they really start spraying. Because we know damn sure we're not ready for no revolution. They shut Kroger down right now. We're all fucked. What you going to do about that? But you want to tell me about sucking some dick. Girl, get out of here. You all should be ashamed. If they pulled the plug on the grocery stores right now, and a lot of y'all know it all, motherfuckers. Well, I got a garden. I got a garden. I know what you're talking about. Crazy. You so quick to show me that you know, you know, you know, you know, because you want attention. Because we, we, we have such low self-esteem. We don't know how to just get work. We just want to get attention. We want to tell somebody, I'm doing that already. Well, if you do it, if you're doing it already, spread the word. Spread the word amongst your own family and continue to do that. Because, again, we're not ready for no revolution. We don't even know we at war. We're too busy being whores, ladies and gentlemen. We are too busy being whores. We're too busy enjoying fucking and sucking instead of knowing how we're going to really get an active plan to overthrow the system of injustice. So I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. Um, uh, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. And toward the end of the year, you know, we're making a lot of changes. And I will say this. I'm going to do a meetup probably after the Mink Slide concert, December 22nd. And it's going to be a private situation. I only want to rock with some B1 people. If you're coming to Atlanta, hit me up. Don't come my inbox on no dumb shit. I just want to be your friend. Let's hang out. No, this is just for the meetup because I have that too. People, you know, I'm like, hey, how can I help you? I had a brother the other day. Oh, I don't need any help. Okay, well, bye. I'm here for business. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here. Can, can we just be friends? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Okay, like that that type of shit. We, we wasting a lot of time and we getting blown up and people... Black people waste a lot of time. It's that prison mentality. Prison mentality is people that sit around and have to waste time. Because you're, you're a prisoner of war. And we don't really know how to push ourselves forward. And we keep up this type of talk and chattering. Stuff that'll just occupy us. And I know, I know the difference with talking for solutions and talking to just occupy time. So people that's talking to occupy time like you in prison and you in jail. And you guys just want to just hear themselves talking shit like that. Oh, I just want to hang out with you, talk to you, touch a little piece of greatness. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope, nope, we're not, we're not doing any of that, black people. I'm, I'm, I'm quite over that, and if you have some business, if we have some business together, let's talk some business. Um, and so if you want to come to that, that private after party, I'm going to meet at a certain location for everybody that wants to meet up. I'm not having an event or nothing, I'm just meeting up. I'm going to be there if you want to be there too, cool. 
okay so um i will i will extend an invite to people if you come my inbox let me know hey i'm gonna look at i'm gonna be at the mix live concert let me know we're gonna be at the concert and we're gonna go somewhere afterwards so um if you're a cool b1 person you won't call on code, I'd love to meet you. So let's stay um, awake out here, people. Let's let's get our heads up, up. We need our heads up. Let's not worry about giving sucking dick on men who we can't even attract. Like I just, I need you guys to get your priorities together once and for all, black people, because I know we're sick, and they've shown you how sick you are to be dead twerking in the middle of war. Like at this point, people. We, we've got to do better, all right? So share this video. Um, thank you for watching, and we have a fantastic Wednesday.